So back in, I think it was, what, 2009, we had about 800 members. And the next year, 1,900. The year after that, 2,500. And this year, within the first three weeks of term, we've already had 1,500 people sign up, which is comfortably the biggest society at Warwick. Um, and that's something we're really, really proud of. So we're involved with making the Harlem Shake for the RBS ESSA. Um, that was a really, really fun event. So we just got, I think it was several hundred students in one room and we just got everyone to go absolutely crazy. So it really brought everyone together. I think the main thing that we do is all of our work in the community. My role is as the community sec to um, raise money. This year our goal is to raise £10,000 for SUDEP Action, which is an epilepsy charity. And we also run a scheme where we volunteer in local schools. So I think that makes us really extraordinary as a, as a sports society. We get most of our funding from, from sponsors and it's, it's both in, in cash and in, in kind. So Cambridge University Eco Racing's annual turnover in cash and in kind is half a million pounds. Uh, this year at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival we made between 10 and 20,000 pounds. Our mission is to design, build and race a single-seater racing car. We compete against hundreds of universities globally and we compete at Silverstone in the UK and Germany. I founded the Society when I started university, which was two years ago. We tried to make circus arts uh, more accessible, particularly disciplines that are harder to learn. Uh, things like sear wheel and aerial and acrobatics. Basically the aim is to come up with sustainable housing and housing technologies to reduce poverty in Latin America. We came up with this new design of a house with a smaller footprint to make it more applicable for the favelas in Brazil. Um, and we're also working on changing the materials of the house in Ecuador um, so it can be used in the rainforest as well as in the coast and in the mountains in Ecuador. The most difficult thing about running society is definitely just trying to balance the time whilst organising the events at the same time as doing your degree. Uh, particularly in the Kite Saving Society, we've got a lot of engineers who have quite a lecture intensive week, which can mean trying to host events on top of that. It's got a lot of time constraints, but it's rewarding when it pays off. My society's really helped me develop my people management skills, just letting people know like, where they should be, what they should be doing, what's going on, what everyone else is doing, just coordinating people. At the moment, we have five shifts. Uh, five volunteers on, on shift every night, which is more than Leeds Samaritans does. Within the Rowing Club, we're setting up a, um, a charity project um, associated with our Naked Calendar. Um, it's going to be uh, fighting homophobia and bullying uh, body image issues in schools. Uh, that's locally and um, online worldwide as well. This year, Cambridge University Eco Racing won RBSS's top award. Uh, as the most enterprising society. We won £10,000 and that enabled us to get the car to Australia to compete in the World Solar Challenge and um, test our technology in the environment it was designed for. The RBS uh, ESSA scheme actually gives you some recognition for everything we've done as a society. So it's all very well us singing our own praises to potential employers, but to have the recognition of a, a corporate firm behind you actually gives some weight to your argument. The money that we've won through RBS ESSA has really helped us subsidise our bigger events such as our trip to Mumbai, our trip to Hong Kong. Um, it also sort of helps pay for our bigger sort of technical training sessions. So we subsidize um, Excel VBA sessions and IBD weekend. So it's it's really useful. Uh, the money from RBS SA last year went towards the world's team. Uh, Helen Trail Dance went to Florida to compete in the World Children University Championship. Um, so the money from our BSSO was used for flights, accommodation, uh, entrance into the cheerleading championships. Um, so it was really, really helpful last year because obviously it was very expensive.